Hi, we're here with Derek Dunkley from National Grid, one of the long uh, standing participants in, uh, in the ITOMS program. Uh, we're here at the uh, Brussels uh, biannual conference for best practice sharing. And I've asked Derek to spend a little time with us uh, to talk us through his recollections and uh, perceptions about the ITOMS program and, and what it means to National Grid. So hello, Derek. Hi. Hi Pleased to see you. Good to see you. Um, so um, you know National Grid was um, the grandfather of the ITOMS program. Um, they were the ones that uh, back in 1993 or so formed uh, a group, a little group of sharing uh, TSOs from around the world. And uh, in 94, they asked UMS Group to come in and help them organize it and do a more effective job in terms of data and process and structure. And um, National Grid has been a member ever since. Almost, uh, I could almost say the ranking member ever <laughs> since. Um, but anyway, we're here in, um, in uh, 2023 um, in Brussels, and uh, I thought it'd be useful to have you reflect back on, on the past few years while you've been the National Grid representative uh, on uh, the ITOMS program, and uh, and tell us a little bit about what ITOMS means and uh, how useful it's been and what kind of value you've gotten from it. Thanks, Jack. Uh, it's a, been a long history, hasn't it? it has been. Um, yeah, we've been involved in ITOMS from really the, the beginning, National Grid, and I think for us, benchmarking is really important. Yeah, it's about you know making sure that we uh, remain an innovative uh, organization. Uh, it helps us to um, you know share best practice, but also learn best practice. It allows us to think about um, our processes and how we operate, and to not become complacent, uh, but to um, look outside of our organization. And, um, and use the information that we get from all the participants and the various uh, organizations that are involved in the benchmarking uh, group to uh, help us to make sure that we're doing the right thing. We're mm. achieving um, the value that we want to, to achieve and uh, we're delivering uh, for the, uh, the UK consumer. And that's one of the reasons why we were uh, involved right from the beginning. Mm. The... Um I can't say enough good things about National Grid and, and your commitment to uh, helping accelerate learning across the industry for many years. Um, in the early days, the program was more about benchmarking and data comparisons across companies. Um, it has evolved to uh, be at least equally strong, maybe even stronger, on the practices sharing and sharing uh, new ideas and strategies and plans. Um, we had a great couple of sessions on Monday talking about what's coming and uh, the enormous wave or wave after wave of change expected here in the utility industry. Um, I wondered um, what your reaction was to the presentations that were made and to the uh, ongoing dialogue that uh, was stimulated. Yeah. It was definitely a very, very stimulating session. Um, it just really allowed us to reflect and think collectively um, about all of the challenges that uh, we face. And I think one of the things that really came out of the session was um, we're all facing very, very similar challenges together. Um, the pace of change is um, just rapidly moving, um, particularly um, as just about every every organisation is trying to um, address you know climate change and you know uh, reduce greenhouse gases. Um, you know some of the key things that we talked about and challenges in terms of um, you know SF six um, replacements um, supplier 
issues and um, needing to actually ensure that we've got an adequate workforce to be able to deliver all of the work that is required um, right around the world. Really, really um, interesting areas, but also I think you're right as we've moved to sort of sharing practices, um, we've been able to sort of, uh, you know, look at um, some of the really interesting developments like digitalization, which is again impacting the way that a lot of the organizations um, that are involved uh, in, in ITOM's work. So it was a, a very, very energized, very exciting, um, but also um, a sense of, of reality for what we all have to do collectively together. And actually the value that all of us bring to what the world wants to deliver, which is um, you know, a, a better, safer world with less greenhouse gases. Right. Your, your presentation this mm -hmm. morning about the D-Side uh, Innovation Center was uh, not just enlightening, it was exciting. Um, Offgem has uh, obviously put a significant commitment behind innovation across the industry. And I was inspired that National Grid uh, and the UK um, is, uh, is an advanced market without question, but is continuing to be commit committed to sharing your insights and stimulating new innovation elsewhere around the world. Uh, the notion that a, uh, a rising tide lifts all boats uh, requires a tide, yeah. and and the tide comes from advanced markets and players like yourself uh, being committed to sharing, not only uh, developing new intellectual property, new insights, but then sharing that with others around the world. So hats off to uh, to the UK and to National Grid and to uh, all of your stakeholders that made that happen. So yeah, no, it's, it's again, it's a, it was very exciting and the, the feedback from everybody in the room and the uh, the wonderful work um, you could see when we talked about D side, when we talked about all of the work that's going on there, the new innovation that's taking place, um, that it really resonated with a lot of organisations that are also having those sorts of challenges, mm. and it just goes to the heart of what you know the the whole engineering community is about. You know, it's uh, you know getting together to try and solve problems, mm. and uh, D side is a really um, excellent sort of facility and a good example of how, um, you know, National Grid, uh, working with a number of other partners as well, uh, are trying to do our bit to help to solve some of these issues. Mm. Well, again, kudos. And uh, maybe the last thing for today is uh, give us a little hint at what you're looking forward to over the next couple of days. Oh, wow. Well, I've still got another two presentations to, <laughs> <laughs> to do. Part of that generosity I talked about. <laughs> yeah, but no, I think that it's all the networking, you know, that, that we've had. It's, it's been an excellent event um, to listen to innovation, to hear what's going on, but also the networking. So the opportunities to um, meet and speak to organizations that are like-minded, that have got similar issues. Uh, there are a lot of meetings being set up <laughs> uh, and a lot of discussions that we're having with, with people. Um, who both want to speak to us at National Grid about things that we are doing that can help them with their issues, but also it's an opportunity for us as well to engage with organisations that um, you know are a little bit of a way uh, forward um, uh, than us in, in some of the issues that we're interested in as well. So mutual networking, mutual sharing, and um, continuing to have excellent, energised presentations, and of course, making sure that my two presentations go well as well. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck with that. And uh, I look forward to working with you over the mm -hmm. next couple of days to helping achieve all your goals. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Ed. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay.